Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Review. Very excited for today's beer. It is a mystery beer, courtesy guys from NerdSense. Thank you guys. And make sure you guys check out NerdSense. Those guys are awesome. Um, it's kind of like a, a wave coming back. So um, Matt from Massive Beer Review sent out some mystery beer boxes, uh, mystery beer forward. Uh, you were supposed to send, if you got one, uh, send it out to some people. If they get one, send it out. And I sent NerdSense, was uh, one of the people I sent, one of the groups I sent it to. And uh, they sent me some beer and included three mystery beers. Here we are. So um, I think they were kind of annoyed with me with the beers I sent. So I'm a little nervous to do theirs. I'm wondering if they're trying to trick me. Uh, I just took this out of the refrigerator. So it's probably not the perfect time to do it. It's probably a little cold. So it might hide some stuff. But I'm going to do my best to figure it out. Uh, I really enjoyed doing the ones that Matt had sent me. And I'm really excited to do these ones. Let's get into it. It's always weird like what glass to pick. All right, so right off the bat, not what I was expecting. You know, you see 16 ounce cans. I was thinking some sort of hazy IPA, but this does not look like a hazy IPA to me. I'm getting coffee. I, I'm gonna go on a limb and say there's probably some coffee in this beer. I'm getting a lot. Wow, I'm getting like a lot of coffee and peanut butter uh, from this far away. But uh, wow, they even taped the bottom. Good, good on you guys. So if there's something right on the bottom, no idea. Um, it's pretty black. Um, I'm going to say it's not quite like motor oil. So I'm thinking probably in the stout realm, about a finger ahead, mocha. Man, good lacing. I, I'm going to say just based on the look, it's going to be a higher alcohol because there are some um, legs on the side of the glass already. So you can see aroma. See if I can get anything out of that. It's got to have coffee in it. Like I, I, I'm, I'm going out right now. It has coffee. There's no way it doesn't have coffee. I may get some other roasty notes, like some dark chocolate coming through, but it, it is so much just coffee. I don't get any barrels. I don't think it's barrel aged. Um, at least it doesn't look like it is. It just looks like a higher ABV coffee stout. Um, I'm not getting vanilla notes. I'm going to have to take a taste because I'm just going to keep saying the same stuff about the aroma. Cheers. Yeah, and the taste, you get that coffee as well. The body's not as big as I was thinking based on the color and well, you know, I mean, there are some alcohol legs, but it's not it's not that crazy. I guess now that I've actually had some and uh, have more uh, glass to look at. Um, it's good. I get a little bit of, like, burnt, not ash in the back, but you do get, like, a little bit of, um, like, a smoke burnt quality. Um, but, again, it does, it's very much coffee forward. If there's not coffee in this beer, they're using some crazy um, roasted malts. It's good. That's really good. Um, I'm going to go, I want to say 8 to 9% ABV, but I don't know if that's too big of a range for people. So I'll just split in the, uh, in the middle. I'll say 8.5. Stout, definitely coffee. No barrel. No, I don't pick up any other adjuncts. It's not like, um, you know, I don't get like coffee and vanilla. I don't get coffee and, and a lactose vibe. I don't get that sweetness. It's not particularly sweet. Um, um, I don't think there's like a chocolate element added. Um, good mouthfeel. Yeah, 8.5%, 9%, I'm going to say 9%. No other adjuncts, stout, 9%. I think that's everything I'm supposed to say. And I was getting better opening these, find where the tape <laughs> has a seam. What's Trillium? Oh, I'm in. Urgh. Vanilla PM Dawn. Knew the coffee for sure. 9% ABV. I feel good about that. Is that going to zoom in? It's 9% ABV, American style with cold brewed coffee, but it's the vanilla variant. 
I'm sorry, Trillion. Hey, this is the nice thing about the paper towel wrap. I don't get the vanilla. They sent me a, a peanut butter one. I don't get the vanilla. I get a really good... I love PM Dawn, if you don't know that from uh, the review I did of that. I absolutely love PM Dawn. This is an awesome beer. This is a very good take on it. I just don't get the vanilla. Um, it's really good. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy the rest of this for sure. Thanks again, guys, and NerdSense. And seriously, check them out. They're awesome people. I'll, I'll link to them. And uh, uh, check me out on Instagram and on Tapped. No hate beer reviews at both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe. And most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.